What's up, my guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know, you gotta love it when a company sends you something like this. And I saw a lot of the other reviewers, they also got these stickers made, but it makes you happy when you open the box and you have your special Drone Camps RC YouTube with your picture on there and Toolkit RC, super fun. Um, so I wanna say thanks to Toolkit RC for just sending me those stickers. I have a few more extras of these too, which is super cool. So um, thank you guys, that's awesome. Now let's jump right into this review. Let's do an honest review of this M60 AC versus the original M60. What's the big difference? Well, they've added some things to the newer version and this one's kind of like uh, a compact built-in power supply version versus the original one. The original one did not come with a power supply. So when you buy this for 75 to $79, you still have to buy the AC wall adapter if you want to do it, uh, use it as a bench charger. So that's another, what, $15 or $20 tacked onto the price of this. So this is much more expensive, 150 bucks, but you don't have to buy the AC adapter power cable. And, you know, I'm, I'm constantly lugging this thing around and can't get it in the screen there, but you know, it's, it's quite a bit of cable and it has a very large AC cable um, going to the wall. So I feel like it's pretty sturdy, but it's a lot to carry around. So this kind of simplifies things. It also comes with a, a US power cable or you can get the EU version. So um, that's pretty cool. And in the back, they also up the power range on this guy. So um, DC 700 watt, AC 200 watt, and it will do USB output C uh, a 65 watt there. Um, but this one is going up to 28 volts for the input on the DC side. That's pretty cool. And it supports 100 to 240 volt on this side for you know Europe or American standard AC input. So that's also nice but you can charge up to about 12 batteries at once on these types of chargers if you're brand new to fpb and you guys probably didn't know this yet they have these beautiful parallel charge boards that you can buy and this one is probably my favorite of all time it has fuses down the middle if it starts to uh, have a problem it will flash a red light here on each of these fuses or burn the fuse out before it burns out this board so it has some power input protection here so um, that is really nice for the new guys and even for veteran chargers it also has a beeper here for a warning that lets you know you're putting too much voltage to this parallel charge board which is great we have our balance plug here this plugs into the charger right there and then you have your xt60 right here so um, very thick sturdy cable this should be able to handle plenty of voltage to it um, up to 15 amp volts or up to 15 amp charge rate on both of these chargers um, and this one's dc 700 watt and this one's 500 watt so um, a little higher wattage there and they can both handle one to six s batteries to do one s batteries you're going to need a different type of parallel board and the 1S boards plug straight into the XT60 here, and you won't be using a, a balance port for that because 1S batteries don't have a balance plug on them. Only 2S and up have balance plugs, by the way, if you're brand new to FPV. This is called the Blacklight B6 Pro, by the way. I'll put a link down for this board down below. If you had two of these, man, you could you could charge 12 batteries at once on this guy. And when you're charging them all in parallel, they're all sharing the input voltage. So if you put say, you know, two amp on this side here, they have two channels here. If you put two amp to this board, it's sharing the load and it's sharing the voltage here going into the batteries all the way up and down here. So um, keep that in mind. This will take large, longer to charge say three batteries versus having just one battery in a single port here so um, it, that one battery will share will get all the volt uh, all the, the amperage there so um, one thing to think about sometimes i don't use my parallel charge board just because i want to do a quick charge and, and be a little quicker um, so big differences right away are the larger screen you have a 3.5 inch screen on this one versus the original much smaller screen about half the size of this one. And this one I feel like is a little bit brighter. It does go up to nine on the brightness setting and you can switch back and forth with the channel 
button on the very top and they upgraded the jog wheel here. So this is metal now where this one was plastic and made to look like metal. Um, this one's actually metal and it should last a long time. They say they've tested it 100,000 times or something. Um, but we can scroll through the different options there uh, with that jog wheel and it's also a button. So you can click on it and it'll take you into that channel. So uh, we have battery type here. Right now it's set to LiPo. I'm just trying to make sure this is in focus for you guys. All the way up to LiPo. We can change it to LiHV, LiFE batteries, Lion batteries. So that's pretty awesome. Nickel metal, PB, power, UAV batteries. We'll exit there. And now we can set the cells to, to auto, which is pretty cool. So it auto detect when you plug in the balance port there, it knows how many cells are in the battery. So it automatically goes and you can also individually change it all the way up to 6S from one to 6S, pretty cool. Different charge modes. We have charge, discharge and storage mode. If you're gonna store your batteries, you can do that. The in voltage per cell, that's pretty important. For regular LiPos, it's gonna be 4.20 volt. If you're charging something like an LiHV, it will automatically change it to 4.35. Um, and lastly, we have charge current all the way up to 15 amp there. Pretty cool. Um, so I usually keep mine, I had it set to two, and that was because I was charging a, a 6S battery. And depending on which battery you have, that will change. So think about that. Um, exit there, and you can see it highlights when it goes back and forth when you press the channel button. So it's switching back and forth. Now I'm on channel two here. And if you long press this wheel right here, it'll take you into the input set up there. And the input settings can be changed. Security settings, synchronous mode, continuous work completed, what it does, it's ending, battery selection, backlight, and buzzer. You can change the buzzer on and off. So you can hear it gets louder as you go all the way up to seven or you can turn it all the way off or have it very low on one. Um, and I like to have it on one or two or three, sometimes just because I want it to beep at the end of a charge. So the backlight, we can change that also, make that much dimmer or brighter. You can put it all the way up to 10, looks like. Languages are expanded on here also. It goes uh, Deutsch, French, we have Italian, uh, we have uh, Portuguese, Espanol, we have Korean, Mandarin, and tons of languages in here now. I'm gonna set it back to English and theme style. This is cool. I love this. Change it to dark. Look at that. We can see it much better on the video now. So um, you can also change everything back to the default setting, factory settings. And it has a serial number on here as well for each individual charger, which is pretty cool. In the input settings, power selection, power type, it says adapter here, max power 180, max current. You can change that, I believe you can change that, 8.4 amp. Voltage range up to 28 volt, super cool. So you can run this with a 6S battery now. And security settings are for your temperature operation. You can change the internal temperature, the external temperature, safe time, that's time charging, to 200 minutes. Um, you can up that if you want by clicking on it. I'm gonna leave that at 200 minutes. If you were charging like a really large battery, something like a, say a 4S 16,000 milliamp, you could have to probably increase that um, unless you're charging at like 15 amps. So, um, but again, it depends on the battery you're using. But look at that, isn't that cool? I love that dark screen. That's pretty nice. And I don't wonder, I wonder if it does that on the original M60. Let's go look for that in that one. I don't see it. There's no way to change this one to the dark screen. That's kind of cool. Our phones do that on Facebook now and um, it just makes it a little easier to see at night. So no, the new one does the dark screen, not the older one. Not that I see looking at it right away, but it's also cool that if you have a USB-C to USB-C cable, now you can do 65 watt fast charge output. So if you have this plugged into the wall, and say you lost your laptop adapter, um, you can now power your laptop or you can power any type of mobile phone or, or a tablet or anything with this new port back here. So that's pretty cool. They've added that on there as well. And I gotta say, I think if you're looking for something that's compact, I mean, I feel like this one's super compact, but you know, lugging around this big cable along with it, you're pretty much at about the same weight as something like this. 
Um, both of these also, by the way, have full-size fans. This one has not just like a heat sink, it has an actual fan on the side. So that's super important on those really high power output uh, type of charge. We have a real fan on that one too, not just a heat sink. Some of the really small chargers have just a heat sink and no actual physical fan. So um, that's, that's one thing to, to definitely consider there. So we have IPS full viewing angle display. It's called the IPS uh, 3.5 inch IPS panel. It's 480 pixels by 320 resolution. And I talked about the metal dial wheel. We have multiple languages here. Um, so I, I think, you know, for a little bit more money, you're gonna get a little bit better charger and you're not gonna have to lug around this large adapter and buy an extra one. Um, and those adapters, I'm just kind of looking around on the website. The Toolkit RC adapter that, that I would recommend um, is the larger one that is, it looks like a hundred and the one that I have here is max five amp on there. So um, I thought these were about 20 bucks, but I'm looking on the website right now and it looks like the, the new version of that is $42. So I mean, you know, 75 bucks plus 42, um, you're going to, you're going to really get up there in price. So we're looking at $117 for that combo. Um, still cheaper than this one. But that is an XT60 style input and you only have that option on the original M60. So uh, no AC power there, which would be nice if they just put an AC power, but they can't because this one doesn't have a built-in power supply. This one does. So that's, the big difference in there in size. Um, the, this one has a, a built-in power supply, which makes it really compact and really nice. That's that's kind of a nice option. So um, the original screen here, I'm just trying to see what the original screen was for you guys. Much smaller. But the M60 has done me, has served me well. I know some people said they had an M60 one day and it died, um, or they charged a few batteries and it died but mine's still working. And the display on that is also IPS 2.4 inch, 320 by 240 resolution on that one. Um, and no dark theme on that one. But I, I, think, I think both of these would be just fine. I, I've been skeptical of Toolkit RC for maybe a, two, a couple of years now since they first came around. They've been uh, kind of the cheaper alternative to ISDT. ISDT is a little bit more expensive and um, some of my favorite chargers of all time are, are ISDT, but Toolkit has has really been working hard to, to impress you guys and still I kind of bring you something at like a, an affordable cost, which I think is cool. Most guys are looking for stuff on the cheap, so um, this one is a nice addition to the M6D sort of... Uh, franchise that they have going with this one. I think a lot of people bought this one and I see why because it's pretty damn awesome. Now one other thing you can do is you can actually use this as a battery checker as well. So you know guys are new to FPV just plug in your battery here to the balance port and I believe it's negative to the left and you should see Let's see, switch over to that. And then we move the jog wheel there and you can see each cell in there. This is a 3S battery. So 3S 2200 is what I'm using to power my goggles. 3.8 volt all the way across there. And you see the main power voltage right there. So if we click on that, it'll take us to the charge screen and that would typically charge this one. I mean, you could do two amp on that, but 1.5 is a nice charge right there. You could do 2.2 if you want. And so we'll click again and we're charging, baby. It would be cool if this would somehow go to a full screen. So it shows us how much we've put in there, how many milliamps we've added, and it shows us kind of that um, 
which ones are charging. This one's flashing red. This might be a cell that might be on the way out. And maybe that one's a little higher. It looks like 3.835. So this will work to bring all these cells into balance. And you really should balance charge most every single time that you charge. I know some people don't charge with the balance plug-in, but some of these chargers won't actually let you charge without the balance plug-in. Some really old school dudes I know would charge without the balance plug. But kids at home, make sure you plug this in. You need to balance charge your batteries. It also has the uh, current that the fan's on and it has the current temperature 35.5 C. We have nothing going out of the USB there. That's also nice that they have that option on there. And we can go in and we can change the current on the fly as well, which is kind of cool. Or we can stop. And let's just stop that one. And that is about the end of this review, guys. Um, hopefully you learned a little something today in my videos as always I try to bring the new guys to the hobby something that you didn't know before and uh, some honesty to my reviews as well but be sure to comment on this video we'll get you entered into the contest coming up for July we're giving away a novice four I had it sitting right over here to my right and uh, one lucky subscriber on my channel is going to win a Novice 4 with a TX-12 charger and everything you need to get up and flying. So make a comment down below and subscribe and you'll be entered. And uh, go watch the original giveaway video. It's pretty cool. Guys, take care. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.